Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, a little bit about generators and emergency standby generators and what to do in a storm. So behind me you can see uh, uh, panels so stick around and we'll we'll talk more about it. How to wire a new Now a generator system usually consists of some sort of a transfer switch or a generator panel where the essential loads are going into, which is what's behind me. Um, we have a generator panel here for the customer uh, that we installed, and all of the essential loads are in this panel. Now this panel goes to an outside receptacle, uh, which they actually plug in the generator to. So that's a whole other video, but we're going to talk about what to do in a storm. Now in a in a storm when the power goes out um, you're simply going to flip the switch over to the generator position uh, right now it's in utility position and then you're going to go outside and start your generator um, let it warm up for a couple of minutes and then plug it in uh, we recommend that you shut all the breakers off before plugging in your generator and then turn one breaker on at a time what this does is it slows the generator up slowly so that the generator uh, doesn't get overwhelmed all at once. Now we load test and balance these, these panels uh, for the customer, but basically during an outage, the first thing you're gonna do is uh, start your generator up, let it warm up, transfer your switch over. Once it's warmed up, plug it in, then come in and flick your breakers on. Um, and vice versa, or sorry, the opposite when the power comes back on. So when you see the power restored from the utility, then you're simply going to um, flip over to the grid uh, and then go out and shut your generator off. So we'll go out and simulate what uh, what we need to do when we actually power up the generator and show you. Okay, it's kind of a sunny day to be doing this, but we're going to show you anyway. So in an instance where the power would go out, the first thing you do is pull your generator out of wherever you have it stored. And just a helpful hint, guys, uh, you probably want to start your generator at least once a month to check on it to do your regular maintenance and obviously get the generator out before the storm comes and make sure it's full, full of fuel and uh, all ready to go in the event that you do have an outage. Now you can see the cord that we've geared up. It's a 30 amp uh, cord. We've showed this in other videos on how to do it. It has a male and a female end. And then over here on the side of the house we have a generator inlet box which is what it plugs into. And this is actually 30 amps. It's made by Generac. Um, I can put a link in the description below of what this, where to get these. But yeah, so this is where it plugs into the house. And this goes into the side of the generator panel on the generator side of the transfer switch. So now we're gonna do a startup and uh, get the generator going. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your generator running. Um, all models are a little different, some have a choke, electric start. But basically on the side of the generator, when you turn it on, you're going to want the breaker in the off position. Um, and this is the L-30R receptacle that you're going to use. And this is where we're going to plug the plug into. So once the generator is warmed up, you can go ahead and plug that in. gets plugged into the outdoor receptacle. I'll let my guy plug that in so he can show you. And that's twist lock as well. Goes in and then turns. So now once the generator's warmed up, um, we can go ahead and turn the breaker on. And we'll walk inside here. So at this point, uh, there's power running into the generator panel itself. We're gonna walk back to the panel here. Now, in a normal uh, circumstance, the power would be out. So we're gonna shut all these breakers off, like I told you. 
Um, now, here you can see up close that this is the utility supply and the generator supply. So simply, the power would be out right now. That's why you'd be starting a generator. So we would shut off the power to, from the utility to make sure it's off. And then we would flick over and go to the generator side. So now we should be on um, generator power. Okay, so now we're running uh, on the, the power's off and we're going to switch over to power mode from the generator and then we can flip the circuits back on and this will actually give power to the circuits that are off. So of course the pump and everything else. So now the generator is actually running and loaded up um, and then in the instance of a power outage, or sorry, when the power comes back on, and you can usually tell when the power comes back on because the light on your stove will come on or start flashing, um, so you can see from there. So right now the pump is actually running, so it's loading the generator up a little bit, which is good. Furnace is on, which is good. Everything looks normal. Okay. So now when the power comes back on, what you're gonna do is shut the generator power off. You're going to flip back over to the utility and you're going to turn the utility on. Um, and then go out and shut your generator off. So of course now after you shut your generator off uh, you can go ahead and let it cool down and put it away. Cool your cord back up and you're back in regular utility mode. Um, so this is the advantage to having a generator that is uh, with a proper transfer done by an electrician. There's a couple of different types of auto transfers that you can get. You can get one that goes behind your meter or you can get a generator panel installed, uh, but we don't recommend doing any sort of a back through feed through your house. So just some important tips uh, on basically how to use your generator during an outage. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.